We're in Kamakura, which is 65 temples and a beach. Sounds pretty lovely. It's called Kyoto of the East or Little Kyoto, these kind of things. So we're going to check out about 500 temples today. Kakuji was built as a memorial shrine to the dead of the wars of Mongolia and it's built in the 13th century. This is some old wood. complex is quite lovely and I think we've just seen the little temple where they are the reliquary is was it Buddha's tooth how about that <laughs> jaw dropping if you will okay now if you won't that's fine <laughs> so we're now at Kenjoji which is the greatest of the Zen temples in Kamakura and was built in 1253 it is massive and covered in cherry blossom on the Tenen hiking trail and past the Han Sobo shrine. This is quite lovely. Bamboo, look. Actual bamboo. You've got to be quite fit for some of these, haven't you? Off we go, walkies. Oh, that's a lot of steps. <laughs> As is a Darakot tradition, I screwed up on the Google Maps, <laughs> came down a bit early. So we're going to be to food quicker, but now we're going to head to Kamakura Centre and get some street food because we are starving. Very nice. I think we had to pass out from lack of food. And this is where the first two of the street food things I had booked are. is Hanari Inari, which is a deep-fried tofu pocket with nori, which is seaweed and rice. I've gone for the one with the local specialty, which is shirasu. Shirasu is like a white bait, small fish. Mm. Oh, that's rather good, isn't it? You keep watching me eat that. Getting quite hungry now. Saw the beach, then we're going to have some lunch, then we're going to see a massive Buddha. That's basically the rest of our day. So we're in Dompechu, in the Hase area. I'm speaking quite quietly because we're in Japan. We've ordered, I've ordered udon noodles and he's ordered soba noodles. And mine's, well, we've both gone for namako, which is a local mushroom soup broth and some oolong tea to go with it. Finally we eat. He's 13 meter tall and he's been here since the 1200s and he's survived everything from earthquakes to fires to tsunamis. Daibatsu Big Buddha. Yeah, he's pretty good. about again in Shibuya, we're starving. Uh, we're on the hub of Skamen, I think that's pronounced rightly, which is dipping ramen, as opposed to everything in one bowl. You take your noodles out from one bowl, you dunk it into a broth in another bowl. So 
the rhythm. Those were astonishingly good. Um, they might be up with my favourites I've ever had.